While other channels churn out daily uploads, we only release one weekly episode featuring 20 dash cam videos sent directly to us by our fans. Buckle up for the best dash cam footage you'll only see on Wham Bam Dash Cam. Nico was driving through Vegas when three street racers went flying past him on the highway. Before they could speed off, one sideswiped another vehicle, pushing it into a concrete barrier and sending sparks flying. Instead of stopping, the racing driver then took off. Once Nico recovered from the shock of what had happened, he called 911 and reported what he'd seen. He told us he saw multiple people stop to help the victim, who was able to safely pull over. Sadly, it seems that the driver responsible sped off into the night and was probably never held to account. Antonio was headed to work on his usual route when he began making a left turn through a T intersection. Keep in mind that traffic from his left had a stop sign, but Antonio only had to yield for oncoming traffic from the right. A van from the left ran the stop sign, slamming into Antonio's Peugeot. The impact ripped off one of Antonio's wheels and sent his car spinning. It slid about 50 feet before stopping in the grass on the side of the road. Antonio called the police and the van driver was immediately found responsible. Even so, he had to hire a lawyer to fight the van driver's insurance provider for five months before he received a settlement. In the end, his Peugeot was totaled by the insurance company. Antonio replaced it with a Tesla Model 3. He wanted to shout out his boss Nicola for being understanding while he had to miss work for two weeks. This submitter was driving down a Montana highway behind a horse trailer when he saw smoke coming from a rear tire for several minutes. As he was about to pass, he noticed the tire was actually catching fire. Yeah. Oh. Before he had a chance to catch up and warn the driver, the tire exploded. Thankfully, our submitter wasn't hit by any debris and was able to safely pass on the shoulder as he watched the other driver pull over. Chris was headed to a work event with his girlfriend in their new car, a Kia Nero PHEV they'd gotten license plates for less than a week earlier. When traffic ahead of them slowed down, Chris slowed down as well. Sadly, the driver of a work van behind them failed to notice the slowdown. Even though he swerved, he still ran full speed into their Kia's quarter panel, ripping off one of the van's wheels in the impact. The van also collided with the driver ahead of them before finally pulling over. The driver was apologetic while his co-workers transferred the contents of the van to another one so they wouldn't miss their deliveries. The driver of the black pickup that stopped told Chris it didn't look like the van driver had even tried to slow down. Police responded quickly, but paramedics took over an hour. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries. After a month and a half in the shop, the insurance company totaled their vehicle. They'd sold both of their cars to afford it in the first place, and now they'll be looking for a replacement. Andrew was taking his mother and brother to the airport when they heard a thumping noise coming up behind them. Watch what happened when they were passed by a van with a flat tire. The tire disintegrated, spraying debris all over Andrew's Subaru Forester. The van's wheel began smoking before it pulled over. Andrew kept going, and when he came back the other way a few hours later, the van was gone. Andrew said he's been watching Wham Bam videos since we started Wham Bam Dash Cam, and he enjoys them for their well-curated video selection. Thanks, Andrew. If you're enjoying the video, we hope you'll subscribe. A different Andrew was heading to a grocery store when he witnessed a Toyota Corolla getting Honda bumped. Okay, so that was almost a Honda bump, but not quite. The driver of the Civic barely avoided rear-ending the Corolla as the driver came to a stop for other traffic. Thankfully, no collision occurred. John was heading home from school during his first week of college when the driver of a Honda Accord pulled onto the road in front of him without checking for traffic. Even though Don slammed on his brakes, he couldn't avoid a collision. Both drivers pulled over into a parking lot where a security guard who heard the impact called the police for them. The other driver admitted fault when the police arrived. 
Thankfully, damage to Don's Toyota Camry was minimal, and fixing it only took two weeks and cost $2,300 US dollars. Don wanted to shout out his friend Divine, who drove 40 minutes to check on him, even after he told him he was fine. Trevor watched an SUV check the curb at highway speeds. Ouch! Trevor told us he had just finished passing this driver when they sped up to cut him off before smashing over the island. He also said there was a 100-foot gap behind him they could have used instead. Dennis's wife was taking her mother to a medical appointment when the driver ahead of her stopped unexpectedly for a yellow light. Thankfully, nobody was hurt in the collision, but Dennis told us he thinks this was his wife's fault for not paying attention. What do you think? Should the other driver have kept going, or should Dennis's wife have slowed down? Sebastian was driving a company vehicle down the Autobahn at about 100 miles per hour one night when the driver of a rental van suddenly began merging into his lane. Sebastian hit the brakes and swerved into the gravel to avoid getting sideswiped. His rear tires initially lost traction, but thankfully he was able to quickly regain control. He thinks the van driver was on his phone. Roy was driving north down a Georgia highway when he watched a Tesla get sideswiped by a Nissan pickup truck. Along with both involved drivers, Roy pulled over on the shoulder. He quickly gave his contact info to the Tesla driver and asked them to reach out for the footage before leaving to get to an appointment on time. The Tesla driver never did contact him, but maybe his own Tesla cam footage was sufficient to prove what had happened. Roy told us the side view mirror had been broken off the Tesla and there was damage to the right side. Of course, our fans know that not all Tesla drivers are blameless. This submitter was waiting behind a Model Y at a red light that protects a crosswalk when the Tesla went ahead and rolled right through it. That, that Tesla man can't drive. That, that Tesla man can't drive. Our submitter admits this was a harmless infraction, but the Tesla driver definitely still broke the law. He also thinks it's funny that traffic caught back up to the Tesla at the next light. This emitter was driving in Pennsylvania when a pickup pulled out onto the road before clipping the back of his Toyota Corolla. Our submitter told us that the other driver's insurance provider is saying that he is 30% responsible because he didn't try to avoid getting hit. What do you think? Let us know in a comment who you think is at fault. Super Dog spotted another near Honda bump while driving down a highway in New York. The Honda driver threaded the needle between Super Dog's Civic and a semi truck. Super Dog said, At least they use their signals, even though I had no chance to see them. This emitter, who evidently loves rabbits, had just started her engine and was sitting in her car, preparing to leave a parking lot. Suddenly, she felt an impact and heard a crunching noise. Ironically, if we rewind the video, the other driver had initially pulled in just fine. Our submitter thinks maybe she was trying to move over. Thankfully, the other driver's insurance provider is covering the repairs to her Mazda CX-5. She told us she loves our channel. Her sister owns a Tesla Model S Plaid, but she hopes she never has to send us a video. Ian was driving his Chevy Volt home from a repair shop after being Honda bumped back in May. When he encountered a large number of emergency vehicles, he wondered what was going on. Looks like some kind of gang activity to us. Ian told us what happened was a mystery to me. I bet they would have gotten away with it too if it hadn't been for those meddling kids. Abdul stopped for traffic on a highway when the Mazda driver behind him suddenly slammed into his Renault. Abdul thinks the Mazda driver wasn't paying enough attention. 
The other driver didn't want to involve the police, offering to pay for the damage out of his own pocket, but Abdul called them anyway. When they arrived just two minutes later, they found the Mazda driver 100% responsible for the collision. Thankfully, nobody was injured. Cedric was on his way to work and obeying the 50 mile per hour speed limit when he was suddenly cut off by a school bus. Thankfully, Cedric was able to brake and swerve quickly enough to avoid a collision before continuing on his way to work. Here's the first video we featured from Serbia. Ivan was driving on a road with a right lane that was coming to an end. Watch what happened when a BMW driver tried to force his way in front of Ivan, then behind him. Ivan said the BMW driver meant to stop to say something to the Mercedes driver, but he accidentally pressed the accelerator instead of the brake. Thankfully, speeds were slow and damage to Ivan's Renault was minimal. They both pulled over and the BMW driver tried to get Ivan to take 50 US dollars to cover the damage, but he knew fixing it would cost more than that and insisted on making a collision report. Sure enough, the repair bill came to $250. Ivan also mentioned that the BMW driver immediately blamed the Mercedes driver for what had happened, asking, did you see what you did? Ivan said, it seems BMW drivers have become comedians. Thankfully, nobody was hurt. We just put out a Worst Drivers of Ontario video and we're already back with more. Thankfully, this one doesn't involve any bad drivers. Jad encountered a flock of Canadian geese crossing the road in Canada of all places. Does that make them Canadian Canadian geese or should we call them cobra chickens like Jad does? Either way, don't forget to subscribe and go watch that Worst Drivers of Ontario video next. Wham, bam, we got a Patreon man. Please support the show.